Hello, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, traders and investors. This is Alex from MarketWise Asia. Thank you for tuning in to this uh, late night market talk with Alex. Okay, as usual, today is Monday evening, 10 30 p.m., 5th of uh, February 2024. It is the start of February. Time passes really fast. Okay, so say a hi to me in the comments or in the chat. Okay, I see, I see that my daughter. Uh, say hi dad good night dad okay good night jenny if you are still around okay good night jenny okay say hi to me in the comments okay uh if everything is good everything is well you can hear me loud and clear all right so i won't bite give me a like share and comment as well okay the today's the market is a bit mixed right now uh the nasdaq fueled by the nvidia you know <laughs> rally nvidia right now is uh, opening is up about 3.3 percent while the Russell 2000, it is down 1.3%. Okay, say hi to me. Let me take a look at the uh, comments. Uh, of course, the first two is Christopher Weilun. Hi, Dave, Hadley, Henling, Mary, KK, Agnes, Ben, Dominic, Wailam, Mark. Okay, say hi to me. Okay, I think uh, the night is still young. So uh, let's wait for one or two minutes before we start the ball rolling. Oh, by the way, right? So uh, this coming weekend, it is actually the Chinese New Year already. So first of all, I just want to uh, wish you guys uh, 新年快乐, 身体健康, okay? 心想事成, okay? So next Monday, also a public holiday, right? So I won't be doing the uh, Facebook Live holiday break. Okay, let's celebrate the Chinese New Year, okay? So Pauline, hello, Pei Wen. So let's kickstart today's uh, session, all right? So let me share my screen right now this is the uh, as usual uh, let me try to zoom this out so that you guys can see better okay this is a better view so as usual a disclaimer first whatever i share okay today is just for education purpose not a recommendation to tell you what to buy or what to sell so please do your own due diligence so as usual all the various telegram uh sharing okay youtube sharing twitter tiktok all the social media channel please subscribe if you can follow every single one of them or uh, like and subscribe as well okay hello tarun let me just post the link in the uh, comments so recently i also posted one trade ideas on twitter okay all right later i'll share with you guys also uh, if you're watching this on youtube please give me a like share and subscribe to the uh, channel okay just a simple like and share or whatever it is follow is very fast okay hello uh, albert Hello, Kelvin. Okay, so, so what's the economic data for this week? Let's kickstart this uh, session. In fact, for this week, right, uh, not much economic data. So this week, 5th of Feb, as usual, from Forex Factory. Let's head over to there. So, of course, you know, um, yesterday, Sunday, lah, okay, I'm that um, the Fed chair power speaks, right? In fact, uh, let that go through. Uh, so this is the one that, that he spoke and he said that, you know, Fed uh, will not actually reduce the interest rate so fast. In, in other words, is that, you know, uh, hold your horses. Okay? Uh, I won't be reducing the rate so fast. Okay. Don't be so kanchong, that kind of thing. Uh, okay. All right. So uh, Monday to night 11 uh, p.m. There's this ISM service PMI. Okay. I don't think I, not too sure how this will affect the market, but I don't think so. It will affect too much. Okay. And then on Thursday, it is on 9.30 p.m. The unemployment claim. Other than that, this week is pretty peaceful, okay? Nothing much. And of course, you know, this is the one that, you know, uh, that Powell said, Jerome Powell, the Fed chairman said that Powell insists that the Fed will move carefully on rate cuts. This is from CNBC. Let me just post uh, the link in the comments. I'm not sure how many of you actually know that. So I think he just uh, on the uh, Sunday, uh, breaking, okay? Stock sleep at Powell said Fed need more evidence before cutting rate. So this is the link from CNBC. Hello, uh, Django. Okay, so, all right. So, this is on Sunday, uh, on Sunday. Uh, all right, so this is last week, uh, in interview ad on Sunday that the central bank will proceed carefully with interest rate cut this year. Okay, so this is actually very coincidental. Uh, okay, I thought I'll share with you uh, the three ideas on the seasonal data on the treasury bonds as well. So, actually, the start of February, it is actually the uh, Seasonal, the downturn of uh for the treasury bonds uh, and somehow somehow very coincidentally you know fact just released this news on you know uh, in early fact so this caused the treasury bonds okay 
for the ETF is TLT, okay, to, to come down as well. All right, so, uh, so previously, right, the potential rate card, I think, I think by now, many of you guys uh, should know this side already. This is from the, uh, this is from the CME, okay, the uh, interest rate Fed watch two over there. So the next FOMC meeting is 44, 44 days in March, right? So prior to that, right, in, in, uh, previously in March, right, there was a 50-50% chance that 50-50, uh, 50-50 that, you know, uh, Fed will reduce the interest rate from 525, 550 to 5% to 525. So basically from, uh, 5.5 to 525, but now, okay, after the chairman, Jerome Power has spoken, all right, so it seems that, uh, he much for him to reduce the interest rate, it is a pretty low chance. So as such, right, the probability for the uh, FOMC meeting on 20th of March, right, it will stay the same. So there's a, about 80, 83% chance, 83% chance that Fed will remain, stay constant, the Fed, uh, the interest rate will stay at 525 to 5.5. Okay, so you can see, uh, I think it's a bit small, but nevertheless, one week ago, right, it is about 50 50%, 50-52.9%. Now it is up to 82.5% already. Okay, so after that. So uh, moving that, uh, the market is pricing in that, you know, from the 1st of May, then there's a chance that the Fed will reduce the interest rate. So the current rate, 5.5, okay, in 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 uh, in May, 1st of May, there you reduce to 5.25. That is 56% chance. Everything okay? Everything okay? Just type okay in the comments type okay in the comments everything okay so far so you can see from the chart that these are uh, treasury bonds over there so after this is 30 years treasury bonds future here so the the, the fed on sunday then today uh the market continue to fall okay to continue to fall over here all right so i think today's session will be pretty fast okay i think my my views remain the same. My my views remain the same. So I've been actually pretty cautious for the past few weeks already. The market has been going higher, but you know, uh, the market breath is actually uh not so good. So uh, having said that, right? Okay, I think you know, S and P five hundred five hundred the five thousand level mark will be acting as a magnet uh for now. So this is the S and P. So. You realize that the, the key indices right now, it is actually not falling that much. The small cap, it is down 1.5%. So let's head over to the spot cash, the cash index. Uh, can you can see that the 5,000 level mark, it is over there, okay, 5,000. All right, so it's very near to that whole number, 5,000. So I think, I think, okay, the uh, market, market could, could, you know, uh, push for the 5,000 mark. It's almost there already, okay? Is almost there already. So I think that market can continue to go higher a little bit more uh, to 5,000. Whether the market can continue to go higher or not, I don't know. But I suspect, okay, it might, the, the, the downturn might come uh, after it hit the 5,000 level. So this is the uh, cash index or the spot index. Uh, this is the spot index over there. So, okay. So it's very near. It's acting as a magnet. It's very near there already. Okay. I think the market is, is going to find the liquidity there. Okay. There's a lot of people. I don't know whether it's a, a self stop stop meaning or whatever it is there's a lot of orders there 5000 whole number so if you understand what i'm trying to say just type uh 5000 in the uh comments <clears throat> i think this one number you don't need to buy 4d like. i think very hard to hard to hard to hard to win huh? okay 5000 5000 it is almost there 5000 <clears throat> but of course it doesn't mean that price will definitely go to 5000 now okay this is just my guess maybe who knows the next few days price can just go down like that okay but uh, yeah, so this is uh, right now the indices is not doing so well. Okay, the uh, okay the equal weight RSP it is down zero point seven percent. The uh, equal weight S and P is down. Okay, the mid cap is down one point one point three percent. The uh, small cap is down one point five percent. Okay, so uh, you you realize that my my uh, Facebook live. Uh, the description is like, you know, there's a warning sign that the market, you know, uh, could be coming down or is it a, a time for being cautious right now? Again, uh, okay, if you have been following me, you know that I've been saying that for some time. Just that, you know, uh, it is very, very difficult, very difficult, okay, difficult, okay, hard or, or hard, uh, very hard to pick the exact top, okay, 
you think that the market can go can it's supposed to go down now by continue to go higher so try not to fight against the trend but eventually it will come but just make an educated guess over there the reason why it is because okay last friday you know market breath is actually uh not very good so if you uh, remember last friday was the uh tech earnings where you know uh meta facebook lah, okay and amazon released their earnings right okay so very good earnings or whatever it is okay so meta actually shot up 20 percent i think meta amazon shot up about eight percent okay so uh, i have the data with me now okay so uh I, i'll show you so you see that for last friday okay last friday the s p 500 it is actually up about one percent one percent is quite a bit uh. s p index up one percent is quite a bit uh. okay and then for nasdaq it is up about 1.7 percent so s p is up one percent remember this one percent mark uh. okay so i have this data with you know this data this is the uh, excel spreadsheet so um you guys can see right so i i rank according to performance so meta you know uh it is up 20 percent can see the number at 20 percent okay then uh, amazon is up 7.87 percent okay but in fact quite a number of stocks are uh, okay uh actually is is negative okay all right I think, I think I already told you number, right? Actually, in fact, I, I wanted to ask you to guess one, but never mind. Okay. In fact, you realize that this is the, this is the percentage of return uh, okay, for that day itself, the performance on the day itself. The Meta, you know, Amazon, all these are NVIDIA. Okay. It is pushing up the key indices, the SP. Do you realize that, you know, after you go down further, 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 okay. All right. You see that, you know, only, only 20, 230 stocks. Uh, 220 now, 230 lah. It is it is above, uh, is positive. Okay, which means that more than half ah, okay, is negative leh. Do you realize that? Okay, is performance is negative leh. Is not even not even zero point one percent that kind. It's all negative ah. See, all right. The worst is I don't know this one ah. Charter communication and then Gen Digital. Okay, all right. And one percent mark. Okay, not uh the one percent mark. Okay, in fact, a lot more, a lot more is quite stagnant. Okay, like it's being flat, it's being flat. Okay, it's being flat. Can you see that it's being flat? Only uh top, top, top 83, it is 1%. Okay, so overall, the market breath is actually not so good on already on, on Friday already. Okay, so this is the reason why they're it, it, a, bit, a bit cautious. Okay, this is one of the reasons. So it, a bit misleading even though the indices it is up one percent on that day but you know overall the stock market the rest of the farm stock is not so good okay and having said that i think i mentioned a lot of times already i think you guys has heard heard me say a lot of times on this you know vv vvix uh ratio right okay the vvx ratio so this is the market breath over there so let me go to the template over there okay so this is the Vbix ratio. This is the uh, template. Okay, I'll just do a naked chart. Okay, so at the top is the Vbix over Vix ratio. Okay, and the bottom is the SPY, which is the ETF lah. All right. So you can see that you know while the indices is continuing to climb higher, the Vbix is actually coming down for some time already. So there is a kind of a very obvious uh divergence. You guys can see right once again. Do do engage with me. Okay, or else one person. Talking so much right now, we have about 160 people combining both on YouTube and Facebook, but the response is very little. Uh. Just entertain me a bit. Uh. If you don't have a response, at least give me a like. Yeah, no. <laughs> so just type letter D. You can see the, 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 the divergence. You can see the divergence. Just type the letter D uh, in the uh, comments. Uh, give me a like, share, and comments. Okay. All right. So it really helped to let Facebook and YouTube to push their algorithm out to let people know. Uh. Okay. So sharing is free. Liking is free. Okay. Commenting is free. Doesn't cost you money okay this is this is uh victor this is this is not the rsi divergence this is the rsi is there rsi divergence i'm not too sure is that divergence? i think so okay so the uh the market internal is showing the divergence as not uh as well uh, so you can see that so as as i already mentioned already okay previously you know when the market was in 2022 okay 2022 okay where the uh the start of the bear market is in 2022 right it is over here right 
you can see that while the market continues to, you know, uh, uh, to go higher, to go higher, right? The BBX ratio is starting to come down. Already. Of course, you know, at, at some point, there's a up, down, up, down, up, down, that kind of, but overall, you can see that, you know, there's a divergence as well. Again, uh, this is acting as a warning sign only. This is not a timing tool, not a timing tool. It does not tell you when the market it is going to drop. It is very bad at timing it, but it does tell you that the market it is not as strong as previously. Okay, can can or not? Yes, ah, uh, all right. So this is as I mentioned. I think I mentioned to the seasonal party insiders also. This is I think as a uh, warning sign, warning sign. So again, uh, the market can continue to climb higher, but doesn't matter. I I will still be a bit cautious, but short term wise, the market can still go higher. Okay, so you can see now the indices is still pretty strong. Uh, uh, the the uh, Russell 2000 starting to recover a little bit. Okay, so as I mentioned, okay, once again, I say that uh, the S and P 500, okay, the 5000 cash on uh, cash, okay, it is acting could be acting as a magnet now. Uh, go and touch a little bit higher, and then see where let's see whether the market can fall. And by then, by then, right, the uh, we should be heading towards maybe uh, mid or February or uh, at least next week already. So if you remember what I said, right, uh, the uh, the twenty years seasonal data. So if you search S and P five hundred, okay, then you search for equity clock. This is free. You can search it, okay. Equity clock, okay. All right, then you search for the seasonal chart. Okay, then you see over there, right? So this is the past 20 years, past 20 years. All right, so for this year, in fact, even for election year, I expected the market to come down in January, but it did not really come down, okay? But it continued to go higher. So I mentioned last week also, or I, I think I mentioned last week already, okay? Uh, I'll be extremely wary, okay? Somehow around the uh, mid of February or early March or maybe, mid or fat you should be a, a little bit careful does it of course it doesn't mean that you know the market have to tune tune at me of me of uh fat la. it can be a bit earlier can be a bit later la. but looking at the uh market right now okay uh it, i to be honest i really 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 don't like the price action right now it, it, i i prefer a, a steeper correction okay and then go higher that will make the uptrend more sustainable okay how many of you are actually you know uh bullish in a market or bearish in a market let's just say within the next two weeks or so two weeks or so okay if you are bullish okay just type bull in the market if you are bearish just type bear in the market lah. so just to have a consensus okay an opinion to see how you guys are thinking of the market for me okay no change for many weeks already i am short-term bearish lah, even though short-term bearish lah, but the market still continue to go higher higher up okay Wow, quite a number of boo, ah. okay? Brandon, Joe, Christopher, short term, ah. short term boo, ah. within the next two weeks, ah. Agnes, so uh, bearish, bearish, bear, bear, boo. Actually, it's bear. Actually, it's 50 50. Ah. I need more, I need more data. Lah. If if there's more people to participate, they can have a better idea. So it seems right now it is like 50 50. Ah. So they are boo, they are bear, they are boo, they are bear. Uh, right now, of course, I see the comments, there are a lot more bear right now, okay? Let me take a look at my let me take a look at my position right now. Okay. Still doing okay. <clears throat> bear bear. Actually, okay, right now it seems a little bit more bear right now. Okay. So the honest answer is I don't know. I don't know. So we have to uh just trade what you see on the chart as in for those seasonal punch insiders, right? Okay. See the chart, okay. Individual chart, individual stocks, okay. Indices, I won't be buying long now, okay. I won't be buying long, all right. So, uh, this is the warning sign, really. Uh, yeah. So, talking about Tesla, Tesla, uh, I know I, I'm not sure how many of you actually entered Tesla. Personally, I entered Tesla as well. So, as I mentioned, right, 24th June to 6th Feb. So, today is tomorrow is actually uh, 6th Feb, really, okay. After six Feb, okay, the seasonal data I think is is not so bullish. You can take a look at uh equity clock, okay, then then Tesla. 
okay so at the start actually still can uh, okay based, based on this you can okay at the start of fab uh, until fab after that you you will kind of uh, you know uh, consolidate maybe then go a little bit higher so but you know short term wise the favorable period it is until tomorrow so for tesla tesla let's take a look at tesla right now uh, okay it is coming down uh yes i'm in the in the uh losing water right now i think underwater but it is totally fine because i treat tesla as a, a normal trade so it doesn't affect me i think just another losing trade if, if it is wrong so i set my stop i think somewhere somewhere at the bottom over here so if we hit okay then just uh, uh so be it okay as i as, as i told you guys last week right don't put you know heavy weightage on tesla or put a lot more money into tesla just because you think that you know you like this stock okay treat every single uh stock or position as equal weight okay this is whether i trade this unknown stock it is also uh, a few percentage of my portfolio Tesla is also the same so you know uh, let's see how it goes okay i won't be adjusting uh, my stop so if you hit my stop okay uh then so be it lah. then so be it okay then so be it lah. okay so right now i'm going to share with you some trick ideas so as i mentioned right i mentioned hello uh henry okay all right so uh this is the one that i want to share with you guys later i'll go through the uh, hong kong on china indices lah. so okay the bear rich okay this is the bear huh? so to share with you guys okay so for the tlt this is the 30 years treasury bonds huh? all right the bearish period is from the first of feb to 22nd of feb you can see that you know uh it is around here right now okay for the past 16 years okay 81 percent of the time it is down okay which means that about 14 years it is uh down so this is tlt uh, and as i mentioned I very coincidentally okay uh the drum power insists that the fed will move carefully on recast in february suddenly in february early february it just tells you that so this is uh tlt okay I actually, you know, uh, just happened to see this TLT. I think happened to see the data on last Friday only. So I didn't manage to inform the seasonal bunch insiders promptly. <laughs> but nevertheless, I think, you know, uh, uh, I think that is fine. Okay. But for me personally, right, I think I, no, I think I actually shorted the treasury bonds TLT over here, over here. Okay. So right now it is still in uh in, in pretty uh decent profit. So of course you know uh right now it is there's a potentially price could still go down lower here, but you know uh, your reward to risk it is actually not so good now lah. But you know I think I think okay there's still some chance that price can still go down uh lower because until twenty second of Feb okay all right so tun tun uh, early Feb uh, early Feb you know especially when the market you know when, when the market when the TLT you know very bullish ah. Uh, Suddenly, you know, very long candle. Then after that, you know, Fed announced the data, and today, you no know, price came down. So I managed to short at a good, relatively, uh, good timing over there, lah. Okay, but if you miss it, uh, never mind. It is okay. There are still a lot of opportunities, uh, for you to to trade for these uh treasury bonds over there. So again, this is based on the uh seasonal data as well. So Paywan is asking, right? How do you come up with the magic number of one five for Tesla? Ah, if you join the seasonal advantage insiders, ah, then you'll know, lah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just keep it a secret for my uh, SVI members. Now. But it's, it's not much a secret. Uh. It's just a number that I come up with. It doesn't mean that, you know, the Tesla will exactly hold at this number. So right now, if, if, if it stay below this 185, then it is not so good. Uh. Okay, Ken, this is for the uh, treasury bonds. Another one that I'm going to share with you guys is actually uh, the, do the dollar index, which, which is in relationship to the DXY. Lah, okay, but it's very similar. It is actually, okay, the dollar is actually is yen. Yen, ah. yen actually based on the futures, ah, it is actually the uh, 6J. 6J. Okay, you, 6J is actually a uh, dollar yen. It is actually dollar yen. Ah. So, for the dollar yen 6j right uh the favorable bearish period it is from the second of feb okay to 
also the 222nd of Feb. In fact, for those who actually apply for a account with plus 500, right, you should receive this uh, bearish FX data, seasonal bondage FX data from plus 500. So check your email. If you open a free account with plus 500, you should receive, okay, the seasonal bondage FX report for the month of February, okay? So bearish period, huh? okay? So in fact, 6J is actually USD, JPY, la, it's dollar, yen, la, but it's futures, Forex futures, which means that, okay, if the yen is coming down, the dollar is going higher. Because they are in past money, if the yen is coming down, okay, then the dollar must be going higher. Understand so far, this is the forex. But if you understand, just type the letter U in the comments. So let's head to dollar yen. Okay, uh, dollar yen, it is actually here. Okay, so dollar yen. Dollar yen. So ah, uh, this is dollar yen. Can you see? Not too bad, huh? All right. So the start of February is the uh, bullish period for dollar yen, which is bearish for yen itself, lah. So can you see that you know the dollar yen is coming up, going down, okay? As such, okay, again after a period of uh pullback, okay, pullback, this is a very good pullback, and then start to go higher again, and then once it goes higher, okay, you can see that price, I'll do a range bound and then hit the cloud support and also at the central pivot range over there, okay, and then uh yesterday was a bullish bar, okay, and then uh there's a potentially price can go higher within this period okay again this is just a trade idea it doesn't mean that price is going to go confirm go higher la. so please do your own due division i'm not asking to copy me and by the way i do not have a position in dollar yen okay i have a few position on my on my uh trading account now so not doing the dollar yen trade right now okay all right so please do your own due diligence this is what i gathered from the seasonal data okay and uh looks pretty good okay so far la, for now la, okay so ken so if you understand about this dollar yen japanese yen just type yen in the comments so this these are the two uh trade ideas so you know uh stock a bit bearish then you try other things <laughs> okay ken so this is for dollar yen yen uh, ken so any questions so far? Any questions so far? So I'm gonna talk about the uh Bitcoin as well. I think today can end pretty early, huh? only half an hour mark right now. So for the Bitcoin, okay. Uh okay, so how do you see the market right now? So for those who have been with me, so previously, previously I say that you know there's a potential chance that hit somewhere around here, our uh, price rebounded. So right now, right now, what are you seeing right now? Anybody can give me a shout out or whatever it is. Okay. What is it right now? Is price above the central pivot range or below the central pivot range? I uh, maybe I zoom out a little bit, then can see clearer the three dotted line. Is it is it below or above the CPR? Okay, so fantastic. Okay, Joyce is saying okay, below the CPR, below CPR. So right now you can see that, you know, that's why I can see that. It is actually okay. I remove the cloud easier to see. Okay. So, oops. Can you see when Bitcoin is previously above the CPR, it is working pretty well. So, right now, price it is actually below the central pivot range. Can you see it is acting as a resistance area over here? Uh, quite perfect, right? Uh, so, if I really want to be more bullish on Bitcoin. Okay. The best is Bitcoin. Okay. Can go above the pivot point, at least above the pivot point. Go and close above the pivot point, which is at about 43370. Close above. Then uh, I will be uh, more bullish. Right now, it is still bullish, uh, but not as bullish right now because price is still below the CDR. So, is acting as a resistance of course you know there's a chance that our price can still go down like that lah. okay nobody knows what's going to happen but you know uh based on the cloud and ctr okay it is still above the cloud okay 
at the inside the cloud and uh, just slightly below CPR. Okay. For Ethereum wise, uh, that's a different story. Okay. I'm not sure how it will pan out, but you know, again, you can see that after that, for Ethereum, it's price hovering above uh, below the CPR. And for the next few days, right, if price cannot go higher, okay, then Ethereum will be moving here. Then Ethereum will be moving here. Okay, it will be moving here. So if after next few days, Ethereum is here, so what does this signify? Okay, is it below the cloud or above the cloud? <laughs> Very simple, right? Above or below, just type like below cloud, above cloud. If Ethereum within the next few days, price remain the same. Okay, no up, no down. Price remain the same below or above the cloud. <clears throat> it's below, right? So technically, technically, yeah, uh, okay, just based on cloud alone, okay, Ethereum, it is, you know, uh it is in a downtrend already. Okay, you need to be a little bit more careful. Okay, so uh so for crypto. Right now, I am still a bit neutral. I'm still a bit neutral. Not exactly very bullish, not exactly very uh, bearish. So for me to continue to be more bullish, price need to stay above the CPR. So that's my take for uh, Ethereum and, and Bitcoin. Clear so far? Clear. <clears throat> All right. Uh, and then <clears throat> uh, the comments over here. Okay, Mittal is asking, right? Hey, uh, can you speak about your proprietary star signal on the US indices, the Hong Kong and Chinese indices, whether they are appearing or showing any sign? <laughs> okay, so for the Hang Seng, right? Hang Seng, uh, uh, I'm not sure whether you are going to do for you know short term or long term hold. Uh, okay, for short term holding, uh, no, fine, need to concentrate. Okay. For short term hold, okay. Uh, okay, this is the monthly chart. Okay, monthly chart. Okay, there is a proprietary star signal reverse for potential star reversal signal here. Like, okay, right. This is the monthly chart for Hang Seng. So you do your own judgment. Okay, it doesn't mean that price is going to reverse up immediately. Okay, you realize that the previous signal it also failed. The star reversal signal. So it just gives you some idea whether price can go high or not. It can still fail one. Okay. Even if it doesn't fail, okay, price still can know chopping you around for many months, then go higher. Also can. All right. Can. So if you are talking about strictly about trading uh, from the daily time frame, then I think uh better don't touch Hang Seng for now. Lah. Okay. It is still in a downtrend. It is still in a downtrend. If you want to buy, if you really want to buy. Then at least stay above the CPR for one consecutive month, stay above CPR for two consecutive months, or above the cloud. Then it will be a relatively uh, safer time to buy. Okay. But of course, as I mentioned last week, right, if you are a long term investor holding for three years, five years, 10 years, that kind, uh, who am I right to say that you know you are wrong or whatever cannot buy? It is definitely cheap. Lah, okay. In terms of you know a uh, uh, price perspective, you know. <laughs> We are like very low, like okay. I think from the weekly time frame, okay, right? Wow, we are actually below this channel already. Okay, this is actually not looking very good, but you know, I don't know, lah. But I'm not a long term investor on Hang Seng Index, lah, okay. And for the Chinese stock market, let's go to the Chinese stock market, right? Chinese stock market, this is the Chinese stock market. This is the uh, San Jiu Jiu Yi Ling Liu, uh, Shenzhen Composite Index, okay. I think today, today also very bearish, okay. Don't know what happened to the news, uh, down about 4%, okay. It is down all the way. Again, okay, based on the money time frame, there is a star reversal signal over there, lah. okay. There's a star reversal signal. Again, whether price can go higher, uh, don't quote me, nobody knows, okay. But again, if you are long-term investors, I don't know, you want to buy by ETF, whatever it is, it's up to you, okay. Uh, hold for three years, five years, uh, Nobody knows whether you, you'll be right or, not, or, or I'll be right. Lah, okay. But short term wise, I think better not. Lah, okay. Again, short term wise, I don't know whether you are trading Hong Kong or Chinese stocks. Uh, not a good time to buy. Also, not a good time to short. Also, lah, okay. Uh, price has been going down for so like a climatic sell already. Okay. And then you want to short some more than TMP. Lah, lah. <laughs> okay. So, not a good time to buy. Not a good time to short. Also, 
All right. So for the Shanghai Composite Index, also the same. Okay, it's eventually is essentially the same. So money index, uh, money time frame, there's a potential reversal start signal. Lah. Okay, well, again, whether it's going to go higher, uh, nobody knows. Can everything clear so far? I covered uh quite a bit already. So any question? Any question? Wow, forty minutes only today. The timing quite short. So is the market doing okay today? Let's head back to the watch list. Uh, Russell two thousand is down quite a lot today. Okay, any question? Any question? Bbix ratio also down, so it's coming down. Uh. so yeah, I'm again. I'm not so bullish on the stock market, lah. Okay, whether it can hit five thousand, uh, it is to be seen. Okay, I would actually prefer it to hit five thousand and come down. <laughs> okay, but of course, the market is market, lah. It might not listen to me, lah. Tesla at one eight one. Uh, what's your view? I, I just now I already said already, right? Tesla. So uh, one eight one, not a good time to buy now. Below uh, it is below one eight five. I have also set my stock. I think somewhere around here. Okay, my Tesla stock. Let me check my Tesla stock. So at least you you know, my Tesla 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 stock. So. It's 176.95. 176.95. Okay. 176.95. Yeah. Okay. So this is my stock for Tesla. Ah, so now it is made now it is made known to the public already. So yeah, so if it hit there, then so be it. I'll just get out. Of. Yeah, so right now it's not a good time to buy Tesla. Also, again, if you are strictly talking about you no know, below cloud, below CPR, uh, it is not good. Uh. So previously I bought it is because of speculative. Okay, plus the favorable seasonal period. I said give it a try. Okay, but it is not working out right now. And plus the market, the the market is not uh doing so good. Okay, you drag all the stocks down also. Okay. Actually, Tesla got go up just that not Yes, correct. Go up a little bit, lah. Go up a little bit. Okay. Of course, some do intraday trading. You might, uh, get some profit. But for me, it didn't. It did not even hit the one hour profit. Okay. That's why I did not even exit partially or whatever. So I just held on to it. Yeah. So one seven six point six nine five. Yeah. Hit it. Exit. It is just another trade. I need to repeat myself, ah. Huh? It is just another trade. It doesn't matter to me one. <laughs> Can all right? Can uh can we? Wow, so fast uh, Okay, good for you. You bought a call on Tesla. Close the next day. You really fast in, fast out uh? Okay. All right. So for me, I did not make on that. I <laughs> for some for like for example, Henry make make a little bit on that uh, Okay. So for me, one seven six four nine five. I will just as it nothing serious to me one. Okay. Can yeah, but looking not good right now. Especially if the market is coming down, it's going to drag the whole market down. Especially Tesla also. Any other question? Any other question? Uh, Alvin, <coughs> view on the Palantir stock. Palantir. <coughs> Palantir stock. Uh, it is a bit choppy lah. Can you see that choppy Palantir? Okay. Uh, also up down up down the cloud and also the CPR. But strictly speaking, you can see that price has been below the CPR. For two consecutive months, not so good. Right now, trying to break above but coming down again. Again, the market is coming down. It's going to drag all the tech stock along. So, so not so good on Palantir short term wise. Short term wise. All right. If a wash line is, has been breached, do you refer to it or ignore it or wait for a new one? Uh, you mean that there's a new wash line? Is it? Yes, wait for the new wash line. Oh, go for the new wash line. Go for the new watch line. Uh, GR buys it very lost. Doesn't uh doesn't matter lah. You just continue to watch my Facebook live a bit more, then you understand more. Okay, you you get lost on which part? Okay, you get lost on which part? Is it a cloud CPR or or what are the other things you get lost? Okay, is Nvidia can buy at the moment? Wow. <laughs> uh, 
Hong Kong and Nvidia, for those who have been following me, uh, I, I'm like J2 now. Uh, I do not like to buy all this hot stock, uh, hot stock. <laughs> all right. I know, I, I know some of you here are also J students. Uh, okay. Good friend of J. For me personally, I also don't like to buy uh, tech stock. Uh. I not, as in not don't like that. I don't like to buy very hot stock. And you know, uh, I should buy here. I, I don't buy here. I don't buy here. I don't buy here. Then I buy here. Right? Then it's a bit TMP. Uh. Town Hall Pie. Uh. <laughs> okay. I don't like, have I don't like to chase. Uh. Okay. Okay. Again, I need to do a disclaimer. I do not. I do this. It does not mean that price cannot go higher. It can. It can go higher. One price can go to seven twenty eight hundred. Doesn't matter to me. But the issue is, I don't like to chase. This is not my kind of setup. Ah, uh, uh, you understand what I'm trying to say? Okay. I don't do uh, a disclaimer. I don't. People say, "Oh, Alex, you'll come down." Come. I didn't say you'll come down. I just say it is. It is not. It is not my kind of setup. Okay, I will prefer price to pull back, uh, pull back, then I go, I go enter, then that's my preferred way. Lah. All the way, you know, the tower go up like that, uh, not my style, lah, not my style. Okay, can I hope I understand, understand, I answer your question on that. It can go up, but not my style to chase. All right. <clears throat> Any other questions so far? Any other questions so far? Let me take my trip. Okay. Uh, TLT is doing fine. Okay. Some of my uh short position. Okay. I'm just going to share with you guys now. Okay. I, since I've got some time, right? I think I got some screenshot as well. So I share with my seasonal bondage insiders as well. Okay. So the trade that I did, I think I just take profit last week or so. Last week. Like, okay. It is actually this stock call the hst hst okay this is the uh host hotel and resort i think i mentioned before or, or i forgot already this is i think they in the us they host the i think some of the famous hotel brands uh, i think hilton uh, or, or whatever it is i forgot already they are pretty famous okay and do you realize that you know this is on the 8th of january 8th of january uh, when the market it is still pretty bullish Pretty bullish right? of January at the start of January, right? After that, January quite bullish, right? So I told the season bunch insiders, hey, you know, uh, based on favorable data, right? Uh, this is a bearish data, favorable bearish seasonal data. I said price there's a potential to come down. Uh, this is 8 of Jena. So let's take a look at HST. This is HST over there. HST. So I just taken profit on HST not too long ago. HST. Okay, uh, so here, uh, it, it took quite a while. Uh. So not all trades are very fast, you know, will take a few days to, to exit. So this HST, it took me, wow, two or three weeks. Uh, three weeks uh, okay, can you see that I, I enter a short position here. I enter a short position here. And then ping-pong, 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 and then come down. Okay, so eventually it hit my profit level, which is the 1.5R. Okay, risk, reward to risk ratio. So again, I think I mentioned a few times already. Reward to risk ratio means that if I risk, it by quite, okay? All right. And I profit, it by 50 quite, uh, then I will take 10. Uh, so I risk, let's say for example, I risk 100, uh, then it by 50, then I'll take. Uh, so this is the, that's the minimum of 1.5R. So another one, uh, still okay. Uh, I think it is EGLE, still in profitable position, eager, bulk shipping. Uh, so I entered somewhere around here also. Uh, okay, then ping pong, ping pong, ping pong, it is still there. But I think it's looking not too bad. Okay, all right, so this is below the CPR. Okay, so I'm still holding on uh, to that. And of course, you know, TLT, I actually shorted yesterday, so it is uh, doing pretty well uh, right now. Uh, Tesla, not doing well. Uh, uh, there are a few stocks, okay, long, also not doing well, but I think that's fine. Okay, so all in all, okay, la, okay. So as long as your risk, we want to risk above one to 1 1.5 uh you just need okay 50 percent right you still be profitable one okay all right so uh any other questions so far anyway for those who are interested to join my seasonal advantage insiders uh, okay you still can join okay all right so i'll just post it every week i will share with you what i'm looking at and such la, okay hey by the way uh, for seasonal advantage insiders right 
tomorrow there will be the live webinar only for you guys uh. so i actually sent out the weekly video today so check your email uh you should see the link okay in in the members area so i will see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m okay for the live web live webinar any question you want to uh ask me you know i'll be there uh to, to share with you guys lah. okay ken all right <clears throat> okay any questions so far near the 15 minute mark so let's head back to the market uh, or the market today not so good uh. so whether this will be the start of the real pullback uh -huh, real pullback then i don't know let's see okay i would really love to have a pullback okay a pullback okay okay most likely uh today's uh, long position will not be triggered uh, or be coming down okay so just skip those long position so for those who are in the seasonal advantage insiders huh? i haven't checked the those positions yet because i don't i don't check it now lah. okay later then i'll check again so let's see whether the price will come down so yeah as it has been a while uh, the vvx ratio and such huh? can what is the ideal uh? ideal uh to be honest i have no idea what's the ideal like. so if you uh, really want to tell me the ideal uh, all right i would prefer to have a 50 percent retracement so let's say we do a fibonacci right <laughs> okay fibonacci over there fibonacci uh naked chart so the fibonacci line 50 percent uh, okay is at about four five nine zero four five nine zero based on the smp uh 500 500 okay so which means that from here drop to 50 it is about seven percent okay la. okay five about seven to ten percent i think is still okay it is still in a very good uptrend okay so if market drop ten percent uh, it is still uptrend one okay it is still uptrend one can is seasonal advantage a cost seasonal advantage is not a cost okay it is a uh data that i provide uh you guys over here okay so it's a data so the data i can sh share some uh sample for you guys okay so for example the data over here okay let me share with you the data wait now uh, okay so this is the january data over there okay so i'll share with you the pdf and report so there will be the data where i show you uh let me try to okay this is the data i'll show you i will show you the start date okay the end date closing date what is the number of years what's the winning percentage so for example for example let's say for example gd dynamic okay first gen to 22nd gen okay for the past 13 years 90 percent of the time it is positive uh, all these are what how many calendar day sector industry and all this okay so i'll show you so the 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 value add doesn't come from this data itself the value add comes from the weekly sharing that i share with the seasonal vantage insiders so there are many many stocks okay which are the stocks you need to look at okay which are the setup that you know it is uh right for entry that kind of thing so this is where i will share with you guys so there will be a members uh site over there so the members site it is actually where is it okay members site it is over here so you can see that today i actually shared with the shared with the shared with the uh members what i'm looking at and such okay and then in focus solar 10 10 okay uh maybe i'm sure you guys uh there's no trigger 10 even though i said that there's a favorable period but no price action doesn't warrant a trigger there so for example 10 this is the solar etf so like the, I did post it on, on, on Twitter as well. So for 10, you know, it, it is, there's a watch line for the 3.97 over there. Okay. You can see that after that, there is no trigger. There's, this is the Fed. This is the Fed announcement. Okay. After that, there's no trigger. So there's no trigger then mean no goal. Lah. So even though the favorable period is there, but we don't blindly enter the stock or the ETF, we still need to wait for a trigger. So we just want to have many confluence as possible you know, with the price action with us, with the favorable seasonal data with us, everything, then we go enter. But no favorable entry, uh, then we no go. It is a no go for the 10. Okay? 10, even though I mentioned that 1st Feb to 20th Feb. I mentioned on the 1st of February. Okay? 10, so this is what I provide 
in this uh, member site okay and can download all the all the content is over there like, i don't i don't want to uh, scroll too slowly <laughs> so yeah you can have this uh coupon code okay 179 every three months but use the coupon sv149 deal you get 17 percent off at uh 149 every three months uh, not every month uh. so every quarter so every quarter I'll provide uh this data so right now from January to March, the data is ready. Okay, so there's still money to be made. All right. Learn from me. <laughs> uh, Henry, need to wait for entry trigger. Lah. Cannot just anyhow enter. <laughs> Always need to wait for the wash line above the wash line. No entry trigger cannot enter one. Yeah, that's, that's why I mentioned like right? in focus. Doesn't mean that I entered <laughs> in focus. Huh? Can? Okay, so any questions so far? If you enjoy the sharing today, okay, just type value in the comments. Just type value in the comments. So I mentioned many, many weeks already. Uh, I said that, you know, market is due for a pullback. Okay, but yeah. So let's see whether this is the start of the pullback or so. Uh, okay, warning sign. I mentioned many times already, okay. Just it's very hard to catch the top. It's very hard to catch the top. Can. So I think, uh, yeah, thank you so much for the uh, comments. Okay, so I really hope uh, you guys enjoy my sharing. So next week, as I mentioned, Monday, there will not be Facebook Live. I see whether I can do some uh, video to update you guys. Anyway, okay, so yeah, I think I should be quite free <laughs> during Chinese New Year itself. Chui, 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 San, that kind of thing. All right. <clears throat> Can do a master class for student. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, William. Are you are you in the insiders? Tomorrow I will share with you guys how to enter as it. Yeah, any question you can ask me lah. Can okay with that. Thank you so much. Ah, so sing and quiet. Sing Xiang Si Chen Shen Ti Jian Kang. Ah, so with that, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys. Ah, uh, two weeks later. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>